All right, guys. So today we're going to be doing a mukbang, a WWE mukbang, where we kind of give our thoughts and reactions to what happened on SmackDown last night with Roman Reigns and so on. The that happened last night. <laughs> yeah, we weren't very uh, happy about it, to be honest. But yeah, we're going to be eating the food, chilling, relaxing, talking. Honestly, this is good for me because after what happened to Roman last night, I kind of like literally need comfort food because yeah. I'm depressed. Yeah. How about you? I'm depressed. You're mad. I'm I, pissed off. Like, yeah. we'll get into it. We'll get but. into it. But real quick before we start, can you tell them what it is that we're eating? Okay, so what we have is Korean fried chicken. So we got soy garlic on one side. I think it's this side here. Mm -hmm. And then we have the sweet chili on this side. Awesome. And then we have extra sweet chili mm -hmm. sauce. If you're feeling frisky, we got ranch because classic, iconic. And we got spicy mayo mm -hmm. for dipping mm -hmm. anything. Oh, and we got fries. Yeah. Beer battered fries, which what is beer are battered? my favorite. What is beer battered? I forget. Oh, I think it's like in the wet, like when they're frying them up, they put mm -hmm. a little beer in it. I think it makes them extra crispy. Okay. Well, either way, mm -hmm. like I said, I need this comfort food because of what happened to Roman. You about to dive into that first? Mm. Let me get like a few of these um, pieces of these chicken I think on that's my plate. Soy garlic. So, do you want me to start? Or you want to go ahead and talk about how you felt about what happened to Roman Reigns last night? Um. Can we? You want to go through it step by step, or like how you felt gradually, like w how you felt when he came out, and then how you felt as it was going on? Or you just want to get course, straight to. Of course, that's how I was gonna start. Okay, baby, go ahead. So, I was really hyped, right? Like I was really excited. They built it up, right, mm -hmm. to have Solo, you know, kind of, um, what's what's the word? So, like, you know, if you want this Ula Fala, come, come take come out me. my cold dead hands type of vibe. He also said so it. I was excited. He also said, but we missed it because we were out and we actually watched the segment while we were outside eating. Mm -hmm. Right. So we couldn't really hear the volume. Right. And we only saw visuals, really. And then we watched the real stuff later. Mm -hmm. But during a commercial segment. Not a commercial segment, but like a segment, a backstage segment. Mm -hmm. Solo said to um, Tom Matanga, he was looking at the Ula Fala, and he basically said, if Roman Reigns could take this from me, then I'll acknowledge him as my tribal chief. Right. And you'll have to acknowledge him too. Right. I don't so know if you heard that. he was baiting him. But he said that he That's will acknowledge right. Roman if he takes it. Correct. So he right. was baiting him to come out, right? Mm-hmm. So I was hyped. I was like, oh, I'm about to come out, be his ass, remind him who boss. Mm-hmm. He comes out. I'm really excited to see him, you know, he come out, he's running towards, or not running, he's walking, he's taking his time. Right? Yeah, Roman don't run. Wait, he's wait, you talking time. about Roman or Solo? Roman. Yeah, Roman don't run. So, Roman so is walking, solo. doing his thing, so. Undeniable aura. Let me get some catches. He gets to the ring, they have this stare down. Again, this pressure is building, it's, it's mounting on top of each other, like you could cut the tension with a mic. Mm -hmm. Like that kind of vibe. Facts. And they get into this crazy fight, right? You see Roman doing a Superman. Wait, um, wait. What is it? The wait. Superman punches, the wait. spears, all that. Can I pause you for a second? What? They get into this crazy fight, but don't forget, right? Roman gets into the ring. They have the stare down. Mm -hmm. And then while they're having the stare down, Solo takes off the Ula Fala. Mm -hmm. And then he hands right. it to Tom Matanga. Uh -huh. And Tom is just standing there. And Solo mm -hmm. kind of seals him with his hand just like back up like go yeah. go to the corner like it's mm -hmm. mano y mano it's man to man making it seem like i don't need you right. like this is between us two right. men duking right. it out and whatever happens happens so solo is even making it seem like yeah i'm about to give him this these ones right that's what he made it seem like. i'm about to give him these ones mm -hmm. until everything went left for him and obviously he wasn't giving him those ones but he made it seem like he has some type of respect Oh, for sure. Where they, you know, he wasn't going to let nobody interfere and it was just going to be about you and me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, go ahead. So after that happened, we saw seeing the square up. Go ahead. Right. So like I'm saying, the pressure is mounting and all of a sudden they start to square up. Right. We love it. We're seeing all of Roman's iconic moves. What's it? The Superman punch, right? Yep. Superman punch. You see the spears. It's going crazy. Right. Mm hmm. I'm jumping. Yo, I'm at this point. I'm hyped because like Roman's fighting. He, he, he um he's fighting solo. Mm -hmm. Then it gets to the point. I, I think I remember this play by play. It gets to the point where he gets to the ropes and he comes back to Solo with a jumping clothesline. Actually, he hits him across the neck with jumping mm -hmm. clothesline. Mm -hmm. As soon as that happened, is when Tomatonga start getting in trying to jump Roman. Right. He getting in trying to jump Roman. 
the Roman get back at Tama. Mm-hmm. I forgot what he did, but I know I remember he got him outside the ring. Yeah. And then he had Tama Tonga set up to where he was about to he cleared the table himself. And this mm-hmm. is important, right? Like kind of setting the stage and acting mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. He set the stage. He cleared the table. It's important because they come back to it. Y'all know right. what happened. But mm-hmm. yeah, he clears it out. Then Roman set him up to give him a power bomb through the table. I'm mm-hmm. ready to see it. I'm ready for it. And then Solo re-enters the fight, mm-hmm. right? And he starts hitting Roman and he takes Roman back to the ring. He want to like beat him up, whatever, right? Notice too, right? We're only talking about Solo. Mm-hmm. We're only talking about Tama Tonga. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about Tonga Loa. We're not talking about Jacob for two. Mm-mm. These two are missing right now, mm-hmm. right? So it's a two on one. Solo and Roman get into the ring and... When Solo and Roman's in the ring, Solo tried to go for the Samoan Spike. You know, he just be thumbing people on the neck, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's why he got to keep it wrapped up. And then Roman ducks it. He goes on the side. You know, boom. He do the Superman punch like he was talking about. Mm-hmm. Then he get that crazy ooh ah. I'm mm-hmm. at the table. I can't scream it while we outside eating. But he get that crazy ooh ah. Man, did I want to scream it. I was ready. I wanted to scream it so bad. We, mm-hmm. was, at, we was at this really nice place for dinner. So I could not. Yeah. But. So he give he gives Solo that nice good spear. Mm-hmm. That wonderful spear. Mm, chef's kiss on the spear. 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 Mm-hmm. And then. Mm, and then you remember what happened? I could tell you, but if you mm. Honestly, I don't remember about what happened, but all right, this wasn't supposed to be a play by play. I'm supposed to be telling y'all how I felt. Well, all right. We're what at this point. Is, we're at the point where Roman pick up the Ula Fala. That's what happened. So go ahead. Where you, how you felt when he picked up the Ula Fala, when he put it on, and right. what happened right after. Right, that's what I was going to get to. So, after this fight, you have this great fight, right? Roman is is clearly, um, what's the word? He wins, right? Clearly yeah, wins. Yeah. Clearly whoops ass. Takes his rightful place in the middle of the ring. I thought he was going to say he's a tribal chief, but yeah. With I mean, he's been that. With the Ula Fala, mm-hmm. right? Puts it on his neck. We feel like we're home again, right? Like we get a sense of, damn, I ain't at home in a long time. Yo, I needed it. And this man just brought me home. When he put that Ula Fala on, me, I was hyped. And remember, they played me too, because I know usually I know when the wrestling show is done Mm -hmm. because I see the time cues. Like I look at SmackDown at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it's 959. I know, all right, the show is done. This is the last piece, mm-hmm. right? But since we were out, I didn't have time cues. I didn't really look at the time. Mm-hmm. So when he put it on, mm-hmm. I was really thinking, yo, he won. Lit. We got the Ula Fala. I don't know where they go with the story from him. Maybe Soul trying to get it back, whatever. Or Roman want to reform the original bloodline, OBL. I keep saying it. Mm-hmm. You heard it here first. But yeah, I'm thinking, yo, he won. And they played his music. They hit Roman's music, gave us the crazy ass fake out. And yo, when he put it on, he you just felt this sense of relief, like, <sighs> like a weight has been lifted off his shoulders. Mm-hmm. People on on Twitter and, and YouTube and everything were comparing Thanos, like Roman to Thanos when Thanos get all five Infinity Stones and when he put that thing in his in his glove or whatever, mm-hmm. and he just lit up. They said that's how Roman felt when he got his Ula Fala back, mm-hmm. and I felt it too. It was like pure ec- ecstasy or whatever, like. I was hyped, bro. Like, I was smiling. I was cheesing. You couldn't have given me Mm-mm. any better feeling in that moment. Mm-mm. And then we got to talk about the, the train wreck. And then the fucking bullshit happened. Because I am tired. And here's why it's bullshit. I am tired of all of these curveballs being thrown at this man. Because he was the tribal chief for how long? I learned in our last video. Four years. I won that. 1,316 days. Four years, though. You mean to tell me that because one day caught him slipping, all of a sudden by the end of this, he's on the ground writhing in pain as these Kmart brand bloodline folks are standing above him. That's how we going to end it? That's how we going to do him after 1,300 days of oh, I was mad. being the head of the table? He's still the head of the table. I don't care if nobody should. For 1,300 days? That's my tribal chief. That's what we're doing? I'm so confused. I was so pissed off. We saw this tweet, right, after the um after the show aired, mm-hmm. after it all went off. Mm-hmm. And it explained exactly what the fuck I felt. I don't know. Maybe you could put it on the screen. 
What it, what it at say? this point maybe in the video? I'll find it. Maybe I can run it. It says solo, you f bitch. Oh, yeah, I found it. And that's that what the f I felt. That was from, that was from Beast, from Odd Beast. He ain't sh He's lucky. You know what? Solo is lucky to be getting all this spotlight right now because I guarantee you it'll never happen again. <laughs> I guarantee you it'll never happen again. <laughs> they are building this man up for a, a, a monumental takedown. Because there is no way that he stays on top of Roman. There is no way that he actually stays like like a factor or like a thorn in, in Roman Reigns' spine for the rest of his career. So Roman is gonna is gonna beat that ass one last time mm -hmm. and he's gonna get his ass in line. Mm -hmm. so. Solo needs to revel in this moment right now. Mm -hmm. Because it, 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 it counts your days. So, okay, that's all I gotta say. I feel like the people in the comments are gonna come comments you about um saying that solo will never be back here again he won't not talking about for his roman rivalry but just talking about when, Ro when roman retires or whatever yeah he won't but we'll see how that go but he won't he's not that great but roman here's the thing man when this happened so jacob for two come in and he saw volley and roman and i get we and he got a boot on now I get that we book him Jacob for two real strong, right? Because mm -hmm. he's supposed to be the new enforcer, mm -hmm. which I will give it to him. He's a much better enforcer than Solo was. Solo wasn't like this. Mm -hmm. Like the things that Jacob for two can do. I already said in my last video, Jacob come out attacking Roman with a boot on because he's supposed to be injured. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out if that's kayfabe or, or if that's a legit injury, but maybe in kayfabe, because if you come out with a boot like that, if you really hurt, then you're probably not doing this. Mm -mm. So I think they said it's in kayfabe, but I guess we see, right? Mm -hmm. But the reality is, like, all right, I get it. Jacob's crazy. Roman was on top. He had the Ula Fala. He thought he won, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is supposed to be like he was caught off guard. Like he, he had to fight a, a third person that he didn't know he was fighting, that he didn't know was there. Right. And he thought he won, so he, he got caught lacking, basically. Then Jacob started attacking him with his boot, and then, you know, Jacob go crazy, right? Mm -hmm. But it just, it pained me, man. Like, when I thought I had that sense of relief that Roman was good. Spicy. You good. This is so good. When I, when I, when I thought I had that sense of relief that Roman was good. Mm -hmm. And that he got his Ula Fala back. Because mm -hmm. I already posted another video too talking about I'm glad he's finally being booked mm -hmm. like as this dominant force. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yes, continue to book him as dominant. And they did for the first half. But when he got hit, bro, and I saw him getting beat up by Jacob, there was one that was part of me that was like hoping that he will have another Super Saiyan comeback and that he'll start to. You good? Yeah, good. He'll have another Super Saiyan comeback and he'll start to beat up Jacob too. Right. Like he'll start going crazy on Jacob. But obviously that never happened. Once I saw him throw Roman like into the side, into the corner of the ring, mm -hmm. like hit his shoulder. And then once I saw him give him, you know, the butt to the face, whatever. Yeah. Like I, I just knew, I just knew like, oh, this is it. Especially mm -hmm. about how Roman was selling it. Mm -hmm. Like it was done for him. Mm -hmm. and, and my heart just sank into my ass and I felt, I felt sad, bro. Mm -hmm. I kind of felt similar to how I felt. At WrestleMania 40, mm -hmm. like Roman already lost his his undisputed title, and now I'm like I'm watching him like, quote unquote lose his his tribal chief title, his Ula Fala. Mm -hmm. Like I said, to me, he could never lose the tribal chief tri title. He's right. the original tribal chief. He's right. the only tribal chief. He's my tribal chief. He's right. your tribal chief. Like we acknowledge Roman, we don't acknowledge Solo. No. Right. So, but either way, we're supposed to be watching this version where the Ula Fala is getting taken away from him. Yeah. And he's just getting beaten, battered, and bru like brutalized. And it, it, just, it just felt like I was back at WrestleMania 40 all over again. And I, I didn't like seeing it, bro. I was like, yo, this is kind of feeling like I'm watching my family member get jumped. Mm. And it just wasn't cool, bro. And then they they took him. They did the same thing they did to Paul Heyman. I think they probably did it to, to Jimmy Uso and everybody. Yeah. They gonna take Roman and throw him through the table. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, there's something else I wanna address. But, well, one, them throwing two, through Roman through the table, I was like, I was upset. And obviously, they put him in the middle of the ring, standing with the ones high, I was tight, right? Like, writhing in pain. 
Now, something else I want to address, but I ain't gonna lie. This chicken is good, and I need to take another bite. So. Oh, I've been eating. Yeah. While, while I take this bite, though, is there any, yeah, anything else <laughs> that you've been feeling? Mm. Um, no, I just... I just, um... I just didn't like seeing Roman in that position. Especially, it's one thing for him to be in that position. If I feel like, if I feel like he was actually equally matched in that moment, because here's the thing. What do you mean, like they was on his level? Right. And that's what I was about to talk about. Because here's started. the thing, like, there's this narrative, right, that Roman can't be victorious without a group of people behind him. Mm-hmm. It's about to talk about all that. That was what I was going to And it's like, about. we forget. This man got it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could show you many a match. If cancer can't beat me, no one can. You know? But whatever. Around that first time when he was building up and building up and building up, he was whooping ass left and right by himself. Yeah. He uh, built this yeah. him. Brick, brick by brick. brick. So, this narrative that they keep perpetuating that he can't be victorious without a gang of people behind him and like doing cheap, like cheap shots and stuff that's illegal and like, and just like getting help. I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't agree with that narrative. I don't like the narrative. And I think it's actually, mm. It's just diminishing to the actual abilities that he clearly has. And not even, and talking about in ring and out of ring, he is the reason why there are butts and seats. Mm -hmm. So many butts and seats mm -hmm. at so many shows. And so for He's them to perpetuate this, honestly, is. It just doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It's actually kind of contradictory. And so. To see him in this position, that ending image, I cannot get out of my head of him riding, riding in pain when these three <laughs> are standing above him. It's upsetting. And it also doesn't make any sense. I could see it if it was like, I don't know, if it was Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar can beat Roman's ass. We all saw that. What was that? What was that match? SummerSlam? Mm -hmm. when, when Brock pulled out the tractor, that was, that was, excuse me, an epic, an epic epic mm -hmm. match i so enjoy watching that match brock mm -hmm. you kind of sus right now so i'm not gonna speak on you too much but mm -hmm. i definitely enjoyed that match and i feel like it was an equal match like i felt like i literally felt like it could have gone either way mm -hmm. and so if that was brock standing above roman maybe i would feel different mm -hmm. but the fact that it's these three people that basically are brand new to their power and their abilities Standing over a champion who just held the title for over 1,300 days. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. Really, WWE? Like, this what we doing? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. All right, honey. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm about to speak on that. Hold on. Some of that drink. One second. All right, but I was going to talk about that too, right? So this narrative has been going on social media. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos and things like that where people are saying like that Roman Reigns shouldn't be able to beat, you know, excuse me, Roman Reigns shouldn't be able to beat this bloodline by himself, right? Like. They have the problem with the fact that he's been giving them so much trouble that he so even crazy. got his hands on the Ula Fala. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's like, well, one, you already got what you want because Roman ended up being put down at the end anyway. So you got what you want. So I don't even know what you're complaining about, that they made Roman look strong and he still took the L. So you got what you want and he still looks strong. Those things could go coexist. He don't got to look weak. But here's what I'm saying. Right. They saying they... He shouldn't be able to like fight them by himself to the capacity that he was, even though he lost, because it makes the new bloodline look weak and they will finally start to look strong. <sighs> I need people to understand. Like she said, Roman Reigns was champion for 1,316 days. 
And before I continue with this explanation, people are going to say, right? And I even address in my other video that, yes, but he cheated most of the time, blah, blah, whatever. All right. In my video, I addressed that he was cheating and I, that I, I like that they finally booking him as dominant because I got tired of them booking him as only being able to win by cheating. Yes. But, you all right? Spicy, man. It was spicy. You good. It was so good. But... During the first two years of his reign, year and a half, two years, he was not cheating. He didn't cheat to beat Jay. He didn't, like, both the times he beat Jay, he didn't cheat to beat Brock Lesnar. He beat Brock Lesnar or Riddle and all these other people. Like, the beginning of his reign, like, his triple threat match with Edge and Daniel Bryan and everything like that, I guess you could say, what, Jay got involved or whatever. But either way, like, he, he was booked strong. Even when he beat Sammy, like, yeah, there was outside interference or whatever because what because i think it was jay or whoever um if i'm remembering correctly i think it was jay or whatever somebody was trying to attack roman and they hit sammy no no i'm i'm, I'm flipping around sammy was trying to attack roman and he hit jay that's the thing he beat sammy sammy just tried to attack roman he hit jay and then he roman capitalized because he still won so that's even like uh what year three of his run or whatever right mm -hmm. so yes roman was booked to cheat a lot towards the end but he was booked very dominantly at the beginning. He had to be booked dominantly at the beginning when he was a lone wolf when he did not have a bloodline. Mm -hmm. Because the reality of the story was he needed to be strong by himself because he didn't have the team. And we also addressed that in our last video with the, the little Roman Reigns championship Q&A, mm -hmm. which is how did he assemble the bloodline and, and, you know, in what order did he get everybody, right? So when he didn't have a full squad, yes, Roman was dominant. So I don't want to hear he wasn't dominant. I, I, it's just that they booked him stupid towards the end, which I didn't like. And that's why I'm happy he's finally being booked strong. He doesn't need to be continued to be booked as weak or he can't get it on his own. Mm -hmm. Right. So now after saying all of that, right, mm -hmm. you all saying Solo Sokoa in this new bloodline is supposed to be booked as strong. And I understand that I hear that. First of all, Jacob's being booked the strongest out of everybody. Mm -hmm. But hear this. Because he is. He is. Roman has been champion multiple times, and he just came off the longest championship, chip, championship reign since like the 1980s or whatever, right? He is strong. He has power. You do not diminish that in any capacity by making him lose to a bunch of people that where not a single one of them has won a world title. How not a single one of these people has won a world title. Solo Sokoa, no. Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, not for WWE. Jacob Fatu, not for WWE. None of them has won the world title, right? So you telling me to become tribal chief. First, Roman had to be multiple time WrestleMania main event. He had to be the world champion, right? And then while being world champion, he had to go beat up all his family members to even get them to join him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had to go through a lot with Jay to get him to join him. Mm -hmm. Solo ain't beat up nobody, ain't fight nobody. It didn't assert or prove his dominance to, to take the role as the tribal chief. And he just walked in. He literally woke up, said, yo, I want that. Ooh la fala. Asked them to ship it to, ship it to him from FC. It. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Asked them to ship it to him. And then he just said, yeah, I'm the leader now. And they just fell in line. Bro, Roman did not have Jay and Jimmy just fall in line off rip. Nothing like what Solo's going through just off rip. Without being a champion, without no power, without nothing. I just said fall in line, so y'all did it. Roman literally beat the crap out of them. And so they realized, like, yo, he's him. Yeah. He's him. Yeah. Like, you got power, he's him. Yeah. So when I have a person, a tribal chief, that literally fought to be tribal chief, mm -hmm. became world champion, allowed with Paul Heyman, beat the family up, made them fall in line, versus a tribal chief, quote unquote, fake, fraudulent Walmart chief, mm -hmm. to telling his family, like, yeah, y'all listen to me now, and I've won no world titles, I've lost a billion matches, like, I, I didn't fight Jacob for two and make Jacob for two fall in line or fight Tom and make Tom a fall in line. I didn't do none of that, bro. So this the line, the the like the story they went through to be tribal chief is completely different, which is why the level that Solo Sokoa's bloodline cannot be on the same level as Roman's bloodline or Roman and himself. So here's the other thing, right? Roman Reigns is Thanos. Like I just made the comparison putting the little the infinity stones in the in the glove, right? Period. So if that's the case, mm -hmm. I want y'all to tell me this. If Roman Reigns is Thanos, right? And Roman got a fight. One, one, Thanos was beating up the Avengers by himself, period, point blank. Mm -hmm. 
he erased people from existence. Like Thanos did that, he won. So even fighting superheroes, he did that, bro. Mm -hmm. But if if we're talking about I'm going for fighting people like <clears throat> the level of Cody Rhodes to Soul Sokoa, Tomatan, all these other people, right? With no accolades. Y'all mean to tell me if if Spider-Man had to fight a bunch of cops, like a group of cops, just because he's outnumbered, that Spider-Man wouldn't beat a group of cops up? If Thanos had to fight some cops, that Thanos wouldn't beat a group of cops up? Because at the end of the day, y'all aren't on my level. You're not on my level. So if I'm a superhero and you're a bunch of civilians that gather together and said, we're going we're gonna to take down this superhero, y'all still can't stop me. You still can't do nothing with me. And if you want me to believe that Roman should just get dismantled without fighting back in the way that he did, mm -hmm. then I would have needed to see more build up to Solo taking this tribal chief title. See more build up to the building his bloodline. Because mm -hmm. even when Roman built his bloodline, Jay and Jimmy Usos were multiple time tag team champions. Mm -hmm. Multiple times. Yeah. They were all champions already, right? Sami Zayn had been a champion already. Mm -hmm. The only person that wasn't a champion yet was Solo. And he joined last. Mm -hmm. He was the little brother, the little mm -hmm. cousin. That was it. But Solo's bloodline is not filled to people with amazing accolades like Roman's was. Mm -hmm. So why would I be led to believe or think that Roman Reigns should fall to the level of these people and, and not be able to beat the, beat the like, crap out of them? Like, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? Of course he can. He's Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. If y'all were to put them on a WWE Mount Rushmore, right? <laughs> Y'all think that they names would be anywhere near his? Do y'all? Do you really believe that? And even and even if you're like, no, but if they combine them that they like, no, even if you combine all of their legacies, mm -hmm. if you combine all their accolades, combine all their world titles, combine all their WrestleMania main events, mm -hmm. all of their accolades together. I'm talking about Solo, Tama, Tonga, Tonga, Loa, Jacob for two all together. Their accolades are still less than Roman Reigns. Oh. Together. Mm -hmm. But you want me to believe that Roman shouldn't be able to fight all of them. When they 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 can't they not even fit to, to what shine his shoes or whatever. Yeah. Was that the saying? Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. Y'all y'all tripping, man. Let me get back to my chicken, bro. I think you said it. I'm like, I know I'm a like I know I'm a Roman Reigns fan or whatever, but like Sometimes logic do got to take place, too, when you're thinking about things like this, bro. Like, I understand they have numbers. Numbers don't mean nothing if y'all, if the, the people y'all are gathering are not comparable to me in any fashion. At least, at the very least, all y'all added together should, should, should be, have more accolades than me or have more something than me, bro. No, that, they don't have reputations. Yeah. So, no, yeah, Roman should have been able to beat them. And, yeah, the only way that they could beat him is by blindsiding him, by having him fight somebody he did not know was there. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, let me, let me shift the conversation before I blow a gasket.